welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva DIY. Today I will be upcycling a new find. I had thrifted this um, French Provincial coffee table for $12 and it, I love the little details and the lines on it um, but I'm not overly crazy about the color. I know that some people cringe when you paint over real wood, but um, it is what I do and it is what I love to do. So if this is not something you want to see, then this video is not for you. But this video, however, is part of a challenge hosted by Jamie from Board of Bananas. It is Flippin' Friday and that's what I will be doing. I will be flipping this thrift store find. I will be using any Sloan chalk paint in Old White or Original. I think it used to be called Old White. Now it's Original. And this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to also be using French Linen. Oh no, actually, sorry. Paris Gray. Now I do not have the original can because it broke. So I have it in this giant can. So Paris Gray and Original, both in a Sloan. And then I'm going to use, this is a new product for me that I have discovered. It is, it discovered. It is a matte clear as protection, enhances color. It's a protective top coat. And I loved it for my last project. So I'm going to be using it again. It is a lot easier to use than the Annie Sloan wax which I've used for many many years I'm still gonna use that as well on some projects but for this one that is what I'm going to be using so uh, like I said this is a challenge so I will have I will have Jamie's channel linked down below as well as the playlist so make sure you go check it out for all your flipping Friday inspiration and if this is your first time stopping by my channel and you enjoy this video, make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. So without further ado, we are going to get started. Also forgot to show the two brushes I'm going to be using. This one is Cottage, uh, country, uh, cottage Paint. It's from Benjamin Moore. It is a bit rounded more. And the other one is Legacy. Um, and this is, I'm pretty sure, from Home Depot. And then just a normal foam brush for the clear coat. So the first thing that I always like to do is give the table or any piece of furniture I'm working on a good wipe down and I'm just doing a damp cloth. Um, sometimes if uh, I see that there's things on the table stuck, I will use a light sander just to sand it down, sandpaper just to sand it down, but this one looks fine, it doesn't look like it has anything, so I'm just pretty much dusting it at this point. to flip it around so it's easier for me to paint it so I'm going to paint the whole thing in the original I'm not gonna bother painting on the inside, I'm just painting on the outside. Who's as honest as you are? The way you make me feel at night when I am vulnerable and it's cold outside. But you make it all right. I wanna know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever when I'm lying in your arms. Oh, my heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a little while. So long. 
So I'm going to wait and let it dry and see if I need to apply a second coat before I flip it over. So I'm going to be uh, turning the table over and painting the top and then I'm going uh, gonna t touch up the bottom where it needs a second coat of touching up. I just think that will give me a better idea where I need to touch it up. on the legs I think I still have to touch up on this side that I missed and but I'm going to do a dry brushing of the Paris gray on top now I'm going to touch up the legs and I'm going to let it dry and see if I need to add a little bit more paint, even it out a little bit, maybe even add a little bit more dry brushing of white, we'll see. I'm gonna let this dry. So it is now nice and dry. I touched up the couple areas that needed to be touched up and now I'm going to apply the clear coat I'm going to do the top just to show you how I do it so here is the top and a little bit the edging just so you see the difference in color and like the white isn't a hundred percent coverage some of it is showing through which is fine it is the look that I was going for Now I'm going to apply the top coat. You want to stir it, not shake it, but stir it really well. This is what it looks like. is done now I'll just have to do the legs which I'll just do it's the same process but I would like to thank Jamie for hosting this uh, challenge I enjoy participating in it so make sure you check out the playlist like I said before and if this is your first time stopping by my channel I do furniture makeovers often as well as pretty much anything that I thrift I love to like to give it a new life let's say 90% of the time 
So if that's something that you enjoy watching, I would love it if you press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my upcoming videos. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.